if the bearings in your Shimano Holotech 2 bottom bracket are worn out, making noise, or there's noticeable play, it's a clear sign it's time for a replacement. In this video, I'll show you how to replace the entire bottom bracket unit, or if you'd rather save a bit of money and keep the existing cups, how to swap out just the sealed bearings. But before we begin, make sure that you have a 5mm Allen key, crank assembly tool, flat head screwdriver, bike cleaner or degreaser, racks or paper towels, Holotech 2 bottom bracket and lock ring tool, bearing press, bearing extractor, grease and anti-seize. If you're replacing worn bearings, make sure you get the correct size 6805 forward slash 6 25mm times 37mm times 6mm. Avoid ordering standard 6805 bearings with a 7mm width, as they won't fit properly in the cups. If you're replacing a Holotech 2 bottom bracket, make sure to check whether you need a road or mountain bike version. These two types are not interchangeable. Road bearing cups are 1mm wider than their mountain counterparts. To determine the correct type, inspect your current bottom bracket cups. They should have markings indicate whether they are for a road or mountain bike use. Mountain bike bottom brackets are typically designed to fit three common shell widths, 68, 73 and 83mm. Road bike bottom brackets are made to fit shells that are either 68mm or 70mm wide. To determine the correct size for your bike, use a vernier caliper or a ruler to measure the width of the bottom bracket shell. To remove the Holotech 2 crankset, start by securing the bike on a stand or turning it upside down. If your bike has a front derailleur, shift the chain to the smallest chain ring and carefully remove it from the cog. Once the chain is out of the way, proceed with removing the left crank arm. Using a 5mm allen key, loosen the crank arm bolts by turning them anti-clockwise. Next, remove the crank arm fixing screw by turning the Holotech 2 crank arm tool in the same direction. Lift the safety plate located on the crank arm bolts. Then use a flat bladed screwdriver to gently pry the crank arm away before carefully pulling it off. Finally, gently tap on the crank arm spindle until it moves. Then remove the crank arm completely. If you're replacing the bearings, then first pry off the plastic covers from the cups, taking care not to damage the rubber seal located underneath. Carefully lift the seal off the top of the bearings, making sure not to bend or deform them. Insert the bearing extractor into the inner diameter of the sealed bearing. Tighten the extractor until it's securely seated inside the inner diameter of the sealed bearing. Position a punch against the backside of the extractor and gently tap on it until the bearing is removed. Now remove the bearing from the other cup. Use the Holotech 2 bottom bracket tool to unscrew the drive side cup clockwise. Repeat the process on the non-drive side, turning the tool anti-clockwise. Remove the spaces from the cups, remembering how many spaces are on each side. If you're replacing the bearings, then thoroughly clean the cups.
plastic covers. Seals. And the sleeve. Before fitting the new bottom bracket, first measure the bottom bracket shell. For 73mm bottom bracket shells with no front derailleur or chain guard mounted on the bottom bracket shell on the drive side, there should be one 2.5mm spacer on the drive side and none on the non drive side. For 68mm and 83mm bottom bracket shells without a front derailleur or chain guard mounted on the bottom bracket cup on the drive side, there should be two 2.5mm spacers on the drive side and one 2.5mm spacer on a non-drive side. Fit the correct number of spacers on each cub. Clean the threads in the bottom bracket shell. And add some anti-seize to them. Fit the sleeve onto the drive side cub and screw in the cub on the drive side by turning it anti-clockwise. Now screw the non-drive side cup by turning it clockwise. If you're replacing the bearings, start by adding some grease into the bearing cups. Place one bearing onto the bearing press and guide it through the bottom bracket shell from the drive side. Next, position the second bearing onto the drift and slide it onto the press from the non-drive side. Now press both bearings evenly into the cups. Refit the seals. and plastic covers. Clean the crank and the crank arm and once everything is clean, insert the crank's axle through the bottom bracket from the drive side making sure that it is fully seated. Position the chain onto the front chain ring. Lift the stopper plate on the left crank arm from the outer side. Slide the crank arm onto the axle, making sure that the slot on top aligns with the widest spline. Next, take the crank arm fixing bolt and gently screw it into the axle by turning it clockwise. Once it is in, use a Holotech 2 crank arm tool to tighten the bolt by hand until it stops. Be careful not to over tighten, as this could compress the bearings. Next, push the stopper plate into position, ensuring the locator pin fits into its corresponding hole. Finally, tighten the two crank arm screws sequentially. If you have a torque wrench, tighten them between 12 and 14 Newton meters. If you don't have a torque wrench, just make sure they are tight. And that's it! Now you should be able to easily replace Holotech 2 bottom bracket or its bearings. Thanks for watching! I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below whether you decided to replace the entire bottom bracket or just the bearings and how it went. I appreciate your support. Whether you're subscribing, liking, commenting or sharing my videos on social media or forums, every little action helps the channel grow and I'm incredibly grateful for it. If you're enjoying the content and want to go one step further, consider becoming a channel member. It's a great way to support the channel while unlocking exclusive perks just for you. 
Joining is simple, just click the link on screen or in the description below.